Not the hangover, it's the regular one. This is the regular one. I did the hangover intro <laughs> by <laughs> mistake. You see, we should have played it off like we welcome back everybody. To the, <laughs> yeah, like they missed it all. Like, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, yeah, that was the wrong intro, which means when I edit shit, I'm going to have to add in the right intro. That's going to be a little annoying. I'm just going to actually. Justin, if anybody's on, let us know how we sound, if you can hear us. Oh, yeah. Um, so well, you I get can... me okay, so. And that's all that matters. <laughs> I mean, you've got to say all the, all the things, all the, the words. things, the fancy things. Uh, like how, how many Skittles can fit in a bag of Skittles? How many Skittles can fit in a bag of Skittles? But this bag of Skittle is the size of, like, New England. That's a big, uh... I just want to make our mics up. Jack's on. Hey, Jack. All Good right. afternoon. Hey, yo. It is afternoon, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't feel like you're here. Cool. Yeah. Jack, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> he can hear us. Okay. Uh, well, what do you think? Let's do it. You getting started? Yeah. Yeah. You, do you remember how to do this? No. Now that you're back in studio? Well, kind of. I'm like not even halfway here right now. <laughs> kind of. No, kind he's, of, no. he's busy he's, watching sports ball. Sports ball. Yeah, he's got to watch his basketball game. So down in front, we have uh, his laptop with a basketball game playing. So every time Brandon yells out basketball things, that'll be an extra drink. Basketball thing. There you go. He just hit a three-point thing. Oh, I haven't started the rules yet, so I haven't started. All right, well, go ahead and start. So All we right. Can do this. All right. Will you stop mixing the drinks so I can say things? Yes. What else do you do? Five. <laughs> four. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Cosmos with Cosmos. I am Brandon. I'm Liz. And I'm Mike. And every time I introduce the show, Mike, to my left, starts laughing and kind of giggling to himself. And it throws me off every time. But I'm excited. <laughs> because today's episode is a big one. Oh, it's about, is it? Yeah, it's about big things. <laughs> big things, Big yeah. things, Some yeah. Some of them go boom. Some of them go boom. Some of them don't go boom. Mm -hmm. Some of them go quietly into that good night. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Some become um, rather really dark. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, we're talking about stars today, guys. We are talking about stars. What are they? What's going on inside? And... The just, types of the them. The types of them, yeah. Who knew? Those many different kinds. Different kinds of stars. Yeah. Yeah. I Who mean, would have thought such a thing? I always figured that they were just fireflies. They got stuck up there in the big bluish black mm -hmm. thing. No. Or the um, uh, the oil lamps. Or the oil lamps mm -hmm. hanging in the There's sky, yeah. There's different types of fireflies, I'm sure. Different mm -hmm. types of oil lamps, so yeah. right, there yeah. it goes. Pin so, pricks. Uh, pin pricks in the cosmic dome. Yeah, so we will talk about that this episode. Uh, but before we do that, we got to figure out what we're drinking today. Yeah. So, uh, Liz, what do you got? I am drinking a type of BC. <laughs> Which is for a banana shake with coconut rum. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, does that end in a big bang as well, or how does that one end? It could end in a big bang. <laughs> we'll find out later. All right. Um, I am drinking the uh, a Cosmic Sunrise. Mm. It is tequila that's been soaked in orange overnight. Uh, mango rum, regular rum, lime juice, lemon juice, and a couple pinches of sugar. Oh, wow. Also known as an Alabama Slammer. Well, it's a cosmic <laughs> sunrise. Cosmic sunrise. Sounds well, no, it's not it's, it's not an Alabama Slammer, but when you just start rattling off all those alcohols, it makes me think Might as well of, be. It's a Long Island star. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I'm like, I just remember how the, uh, the, the episode where we had Alabama Slammers was just, uh, it did not See, the weird thing is I don't remember that episode. <laughs> You did fine. Hey, look you at me go. Fine. Wait, the Black oh. Things episode? No, no, no. no, no. This, this was, was later. This science was fiction episode? Science fiction episode? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh. I did not. I remember that one. I was, okay. I was close behind you. I remember you. we were trying to carry that episode because we, we ended kind of early. Yeah, I had to. And Katie was taking care yeah. of you yeah, because. Yeah, I had to get out this of Dodge. Was, Yeah, this was back in the three-hour episode time frame. When we didn't do anything live, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, and um, I have a type BC as well. Show but your beautiful drink. But this Ooh. is, I'm calling this a Proto Star. Damn. And it has uh, orange juice, but it has coconut, mango rum, and blue cacao. It's, it's blended so nicely, like that. I, I mean, it, it just it looks beautiful. really pretty. It's and like a spectrum. 
It is. And the uh, cranberry pretty. cranberry juice on mm-hmm. top. But the cranberry juice was really sitting on top. I had to had to force it down a little bit. <laughs> Uh, so those are our drinks, which we will gradually get nice and mature off of yes. tonight. Um, and, of course, we have a couple of rules Wait for the show. What, what about Jack? What's he drinking? Oh, Jack, what you got? I didn't see it. He oh, he made a syrup with his fresh strawberries and used that with the soda stream. Oh and he made a float with vanilla ice cream. and Garnished, garnished with, with mint. mint. Oh. Damn. You see? Yeah, right? We could have had that here. Damn. We always say, we always good. read Jack's that drink and think we could have had that. I, well, I just made an Alabama Slammer. He I made mean, something artisanal. I just don't have, like, the patience or the energy to, like, make well, things no, like Jack, Jack does. Well, no, Jack, every Sunday that we do this, Jack has to be here and he has to make the drink. He is more oh. prepared than we are. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> he, we love it, Jack. Jack probably thinks about this for two weeks. And <laughs> <laughs> We're like, well, what do we have in the house? A vodka and ice cube. <laughs> Quick, think of a name. <laughs> Uh, icy dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's literally how it goes. <laughs> Anywho, uh, we do have a couple of rules mm-hmm. for the show. Um, let me remember them really quick. If we have a puppy bark, we don't have any Amazon coming today, so that's nope. nice. Nope. But if you hear a puppy bark in the background, that yep. is a drink. Um, if any of us make a Star Wars reference, also a drink. A Lord of the Rings reference is also a drink. And on today's episode, we have an additional rule. Um, it's for him. <laughs> it is for me and me alone, since I have my little basketball game going on below. Anytime I see the Phoenix Suns make a three, I'm going to take me a drink. Oh, gosh. Very, very small drink, though, because we make lots of threes. Well, you'll just have to let us... Um, well, you're going to let us I'll know. let you yeah, know. He'll um, for, 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 for these two, a rule is if I... Like verbally say something about basketball, they have to drink. Yeah. Like I'll just be excited and go, hey, something like that. Oh God. Hey, oh, oh, that's ho, all the time. Uh, that's ho. It's gonna happen all the time. I'm gonna go like Nick Cage on everyone. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then of course, um, if you'd like to follow us on the Twitter at Drinking Cosmos, Instagram Cosmos with Cosmos, uh, follow us on the iTunes, the, the Spotify, the things. The things. Rate if you like. It's always fun seeing what people think about the show. And yeah. 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 All right. So with that, stars. 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 So we don't really have an outline, so we're just going to kind of wing this here. It's so a big outline. Like oh, made no, no, a he told reference. me that's not an outline. This is reference oh. stuff. So let's kind of start. It's not visible let, to everybody. Let's start then what we see with our own eyes looking up at the sky. Okay. We um, see pinpoints of light. Pinpoints of light. Uh, but what kind of lights are they? Are they like... She doesn't want it. Just, uh, you gave it to me. Um, so we look up there and we see different... Colors, different sizes, mm-hmm. not so much mm-hmm. different shapes. They're all kind of pinpointy. Uh, <laughs> well, when we look up at the yeah, night sky, the different triangles. sizes. You're talking about brightness. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go with, you know, for example, why are they different colors? Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? Well, we have different types of stars that are then different colors. Why do you have different types of stars? And then why are they different colors? Well, let's think about how stars form in giant clouds of gas and dust, which you can find more about on our uh, Little Fluffy Clouds in Space episode that we did last time. That's up now on all your whatever platforms that you want to listen to it on or watch it on. Uh, Well, just watch it on YouTube, but anyway. Uh, And so depending on the amount of material that starts to accumulate and that has accumulated before the star then reaches nuclear fusion and turns on, that determines how big your star is going to be, right? And the type of star, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's all about size, right? And so, uh, all, about size. <laughs> all about size. All about size. Much like you would find in playoff basketball, it's all about the size and how your Wait, interior defense is. Wait, you got to take a drink now? No, I'm, I'm, oh, you're good. God. You're good. Um, this is my mind. Yeah, well, you know, um, the colors come about because of the temperatures of the stars. And so... Um, it, is that similar to like when you light a flame or a torch and you can see different colors in the uh, flames? No, oh. because um, because those those are you're burning different chemicals on those, and so um, with with a star, the the outer atmosphere is predominantly hydrogen, helium, and mm. so its um, its color is all based on on the temperature, uh, and so really hot stars are going to be. Uh, blue in color, and the really cooler stars are going to be red Mm -hmm. um, in color. And for regular stars, you can say that, you know, the blue stars are the bigger ones, actual actual Mm size-wise, bigger Mm -hmm. ones, and uh, red stars, 
talking about for a regular main sequence stars or little tiny things. Little small stars. <laughs> little tiny things. Little tiny things. <laughs> Relatively speaking. Relatively speaking, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And then you kind of said the, a phrase there, main sequence stars. Mm-hmm. What's that, Liz? <laughs> well, the main sequence stars are the stars that are on the main main sequence of their lifespan. So they're in the main, you know, part of their lives, bef- which it occurs after they are born and ignite into nuclear fusion. That's basically the birth of a star. And then they go through their fuel supplies until they reach basically sort of a, a, a breaking point, if you will, depending on the size of the star. Of course, you know, larger the st- larger stars burn their fuel more faster, um, or faster, <laughs> 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 and so they have shorter lifespans and die very violent deaths. And then the smaller stars, they can they can they're like your Prius. It goes through fuel mm-hmm. uh, a lot slower. It lives longer and then has a nice uh, mm. quiet death, relatively speaking. Oh. So when they start to die, then they move off the main sequence into uh, various stages, whether it's red giant to a white dwarf or black hole or, w- or whatever. Can I modify that? Yeah, you can modify everything, Fancy <laughs> Physics Man, because uh, I'm just talking out of my, my ass. <laughs> no, uh, they move off the main sequence when, um, when they stop burning hydrogen. So when they go, oh, okay. yeah. So when they when they start uh, burning hydrogen, oh no! Oh God, is that a drink, everybody? I don't know what that is because it's a well, drink because basketball things have happened. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> somebody fell. There goes the series. Someone's faking an injury. No, it's a real one. He's the leader of the team. We're in trouble. Oh, he looks like he looks like he's just being well way over dramatic. Yeah, well, they, they've cut to a commercial, so he must he must be dying. Gosh, this is gonna be. Uh, oh, Shall Jack we just says. Close this? Jack says blue stars make up for the tininess of Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Smurf true. compensation. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, when 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 a star, so a, a star is born in this big cloud of gas, like we talked mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. a few weeks ago. Um, and then when they start burning hydrogen and helium, they're on this main sequence of this HR diagram, Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. Oh, vocab yeah. term. <laughs> or, or names of people. <laughs> um, and then when they start um, burning other stuff, they yeah. kind of come off of it because they evolve like really quickly and weird. Um, mm-hmm. And so, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, let's start. let's start going through these types of stars. So... You have those hot ones, which are primarily uh, what's known as what type A and B stars. O and A. O and A. O yeah. and A. O yeah. And, a. and the very if you, so, um, it, if if you Google HR diagram, um, you'll see this like S shaped curve, um, and at the top left will be these uh, beautiful blue and white stars, um, and the blue ones are the hottest ones. And they are O type stars and Oh. 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 <laughs> That's my contribution for today's episode. Mm-hmm. And uh, right behind it are the B stars, but um, O stars are uh, the mo- most massive stars. Um, they have temperatures over thirty thousand they have temperatures over eighty thousand degrees on their surface. Woo! Yeah, so um, pretty pretty toasty. For reference. The temperature of our star, 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 our, our star. star, the sun's surface is ten thousand degrees. Oh, so that's a little hotter. Then. A little okay. hotter. A little hotter. hotter. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, We're and out there. so they're they're blue in color. Mm-hmm. Um, they put out uh, a lot of light. Um, they're very luminous. However, Ooh. my Jedi. <laughs> oh damn it! Yeah. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Luminous <laughs> beings are we. Uh, however, most of that light you can't see. It is an ultraviolet light. Oh. And so uh, most of the light from O stars are ultraviolet. And bad sunburn. <laughs> or bad sunburn if you're there. Um, and uh, the percentage of O stars in the universe is 0.00003%. Wow. Very, that, that still probably tiny, adds up to tiny. a couple billion, like overall. Yeah, 42. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, because it's, it's, it's easier to form the smaller stars because 
they're using less material, whereas, like, the big stars, they need to have access to a lot of material to form from. Right. And, a, and, and stars generally form together um, in the same planetary nebula. Uh, and so it's like, you know, they have to share that material. So, right. they, you know, it's... It, it's There's only, only so much material that... Uh, the path of least resistance is smaller stars. Exactly. <laughs> and, and we'll find that out here um, uh-huh. in, a, in, in a minute. So, uh, but yeah, O stars are are the uh, are the hottest and the biggest stars. And then right behind them um, are kind of bluish white stars, which are the B stars. Mm-hmm. Where they get these letters, um, I do not know. And... Because the types, the types of the type of stars, the, classi- yeah. the classification, are um, are O, B, A, F, G, K, and M, and I it just makes no sense, <laughs> no sense to me whatsoever. Um, but you know, if you wanted to have a, new, a, a mnemonic device, oh, uh huh, uh huh, uh-huh, Liz, where you use my mnemonic de- yeah, device what, for what, star types, what is, yeah. Okay, so it is. Only bad astronomers find galactic killer Martians. Boom, Only there bad you go. astronomers find galactic killer yeah. Martians. It's easy. It rolls off the tongue, folks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. What, what is the, what is like the official mnemonic again for it? Or the most common I'll mnemonic? Oh, be a fine girl and kiss, kiss me. me. I'll be a fine gal and kiss me. Oh, that's. Or, or guy. I'll be a fine guy and kiss me. Either way, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. no, that's, 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 too, hashtag me too. Clearly this was made a very long time ago. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, so O is, O is the hottest, B is next. Um, and so, as we go down, these are going to be um, cooler stars. Um, A stars are, um, are white stars. F stars are actually white stars as well. Um, and then you finally have, um, G stars and, uh, the most famous G star there is. We see it every day. Hopefully it is the sun. Uh, yeah, what is Polaris? I'm not sure what Polaris is, but, um, uh, the sun is actually a G star. I think it's G2, G2 star. Our sun? Our sun is G2, yeah. Um, and it's, uh, it's a yellow star. But it puts out most of its light in the green wavelengths. Ooh, yeah. So why don't we see green for the star? Our oh. eyes are our eyes are not set up for it. Damn, that'd be cool. Is there some green stars? Yeah, our side, uh, our eyes just aren't set up for yeah, it. Yeah, they all kind of combine together, and it just becomes white. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then you have your K and M stars. K are kind of an orangish stars. M's are, M's are going to be red stars. Uh, M type stars make up. 76% of all the stars wow. in the universe. Wow. I mean, that makes sense because they're yeah, small. easiest to make. Yeah. Easiest to make. Yep. So that's, that's the classification. But, yeah. I mean, you do have, um, so you have what you call protostars, which is when, they aren't really stars, but it's when the the initial cloud of dust and oh, gas is kind of collapsing. The baby stars. The fetal they're, stars. It's collapsing. Mm-hmm. It's the, the fetal stars. Yeah, and you have Titori stars. Embryonic stars. Embryonic stars, Embryonic stars yes. Embryonical. Embryonical. <laughs> then you have Titori stars, which is um, going to be a star that ha- that is collapsing down and gets most of its energy uh, from, the, uh, from gravitational energy. It hasn't started actually um uh, fusing hydrogen mm. and he- into helium mm. yet um it's actually about the same temperature as a regular star mm-hmm. uh on its surface however it's uh brighter because it's actually bigger because it hasn't Ooh. built up that pressure okay. in the center okay. yet and then it ignites you get a main sequence star and then after that you have things like um you know red giants red super giants mm-hmm. like beetlejuice mm-hmm. is a red super giant beetlejuice, uh, beetlejuice. Like, <laughs> yes. Uh, white dwarves, neutron stars, black holes. So, but those are white dwarves, neutron stars, and black holes are all you have, stars. Uh, you have uh, 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 quasars, quasi stellar, quasi stellar. It's not a star at all, but quasi stellar no. objects. Radio, radio object. Yeah. Radio source. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those are the hearts of galaxies. Yeah. Very distant galaxies. Yeah. Did you co- talk about brown dwarf? 
Oh, brown dwarves are, um, they will never be a star. They are not big enough to be on uh, a star. They're kind of in that intermediate range between something like, um, like Jupiter, mm -hmm. big gas giant kind of planet, and an actual small star. So what's the line then between a gas giant and a star? Well, obviously, a star nuclear, has fusion. nuclear fusion. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah that's okay. the line. Um, <laughs> but like brown dwarfs then, they're so close. They're so close. Um, okay, if, could you have a brown dwarf in order, or in a binary system with a star and able to pull material from it in order to then become a star? Like this is um that brown dwarf is not going to be able probably not oh, going to be able to pull off gravity yeah because you're talking about gravity yeah that's true and so I, I mean if if you have a brown dwarf going around a big star and that the big star has um um expanded and filled its roche limit mm -hmm. so it, it looks like a teardrop mm -hmm. basically uh -huh. that little point um, there, there is a, there is, there it can start maybe pulling off some material. Okay. But, uh, it, it kind of depends on what that okay. big star is like. Okay. Um, and if enough, if enough gas falls onto that brown dwarf to ignite. And, right. Okay. That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, let's, uh, check in with our audience. I posed them a challenge, which was to make their own mnemonic. Uh, Jack has one from, uh, high school, uh, or his old one from school was, Oh, brother, a fighting Gorn killed my lieutenant transporting your crystal sphere. Wow. <laughs> uh, and, uh, Katie came up with that. Jack's going to steal now for his students, but Katie and Adam came up with, uh, older bats and fat ghosts killing monsters. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> older bats. Fat and ghosts. fat ghosts. Fat and ghosts. Fat ghosts. I want to know how old these bats are and how fat these ghosts are. And what kind of monsters are they able to kill? That's great. Our baby and father goes killing mothers. Our right. baby and what? father goes killing mothers. A lot of killing is happening. What is going on with Katie and Adam? What is going on over there at the house? I mean, I started with, you know, uh, you know, mm. killer Martians, so... What is going on with that family? We like death and destruction. Hashtag Davison. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Well, um, so those are, you know, different types of stars. Mm -hmm. um, and, and they come in all different shapes and sizes and, well, not shapes, they're all no. random. <laughs> Different shapes. Triangle stars. They're triangle stars. Uh, trapezoidal stars. Ooh. Hexagonal stars. Breaking out the I know, higher, I'm trying to think of like all the shapes dimension. that I know. <laughs> what if there was a star that's actually shaped like how you draw a well, star? Like a dodecahedron star. Hey. Yeah. Hey, 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 That'd be fun. But stars can be different shapes because a, a sphere is the least energetic state for an object. So if, it, if an object has enough mass, gravity is just going to naturally just yeah, it's sphere gonna force it out. It's, it's going to gonna, force it to be gonna round. It's going to round those edges. It's going to be it's going to force it to be round. So that's why planets are round. Mm -hmm. um, Moons. For the most part are round. Um, yeah. And so, but stars definitely, um, stars are definitely going to be round. Okay. This is, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a long day here. I, I'm gonna have to put you on re right. on some sort of restriction. We're gonna have to close this. And I'm Do you want to see phone. me explode? Gotta, I'm gonna have to take your phone. You, know. you can tell because I've said three words this entire episode. I know. It's just and you're the host of it. I I, I said it. I would host, but uh, Jackson's fat ghosts are just retaining ectoplasm. <laughs> Gotta watch that ectoplasm retainment. All right, so... Um, All right, so we got... We got O, B, A, F, G, K, M. Mm -hmm. Stars. And others. As the types. Okay, and um, yeah, the, what is the classification? The classifications. Yeah, that's how we classify... Um, I want to say just the main sequence stars. Um, I, well, no, I'm sure that, like, I'm sure that they'll do... Um, once you get off the main sequence, I'm not really sure if they classify them that way or not. I would assume they're, they're just like main sequence. Here, look, I'll Google Beetlejuice real fast. 
right, all right. And so uh, oh, nice Beetlejuice background. is definitely not on the on the uh, main sequence. So um, stars that um, that you might see that are um, okay. Just go ahead. And Beetlejuice is a spectral type M two lab. All right, lowercase lab. L -A -B. So they do. Um, so they do have a. I guess a certain spectral. Yeah, so they classify them the same way. All right, so um, stars that you um, that are um, B stars that you can see from the night sky would be uh, Regulus. Ooh. Regulus is a B star. Oh, that's the and heart Leo of the lion. lion. The royal oh, star. Heart. Uh, Algol A. So if you um, Algol. Binary? Is it binary? Is this the one in Cygnus? No, Al Gol is a demon star. Oh, Al Gore. Okay, demon star. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's in that's in Perseus. Perseus? Oh, it's Medusa's mm -hmm. Medusa's eye. That's right. Yep. Uh, well, there yes. are still people who um, see that as bad luck and will not look at it when it's bright. That makes sense. Really? Yeah, um, you know, because the world does not believe in science anymore. The world has changed. I mean, if I could have snakes in my hair and just freeze people into stone with my eyes, that would be wonderful. <laughs> um, Kappa Andromeda. So, Kappa Andromeda. The, the third brightest star? What's Kappa? I don't know. Alpha, Kappa. beta, that gamma, sounds like a great delta. delta. <laughs> no, it's down the list. But um, Kappa, Kappa Andromeda? Yeah. Sounds like, like a sorority. Sorority, yeah. I know, yeah. right? Um, for, for A stars, Altair. Ooh. Oh, Altair's in Cygnus, but no, God, I can't Deneb, remember. Altair Deneb's in Cygnus. Is Aquila. Aqu Aquila, Aquila, right? Aquila, Aquila. I say Aquila. Isn't yes, it? yes, Altair's in Aquila. Vega, Altair, and Deneb. Deneb. Yeah, in the yeah, summer triangle. triangle. Yeah. Oh God, we just need God, to we need this, a... end this show. All right, <laughs> we so we need to re, re, we need another Tipsy Stars episode uh, yeah, coming up. All right, so another A star be serious, bright star in night sky. Boom. A. That's not the sun. A night sky. I'm out of it today. <sighs> yeah, night sky. The sun. The sun is not up in the in the night sky. Because the sun so makes it in, daytime. It's impossible for it to be any brightness in the night sky. <laughs> oh I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you go away for two weeks. Well, he's not miss even, an he, episode. He's not even paying. And attention. I just I got really, really bad news. So, oh, so. God. He's, oh, no. he's not even paying attention. He's paying attention Sport, to the game. Basketball. He'll so, die. Um, uh, Vega is another A star. Um, um, Procyon. Procyon A. Procyon. Procyon. I've never heard it pronounced Procyon. Uh, Procyon. Uh, Procyon, is Procyon A. Dog. Is uh, an F star. <gasps> Good news. He's back. Hooray! I can be a part of the podcast now. Please do. Do we have to drink now for basketball reference? Yeah, I'm going to drink. Too. Oh, I thought he was done for the season. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. I should give a warning on this episode of Sports <sighs> Um, Yeah, Jack, uh, winter has been so long that we have forgotten parts of the summer triangle. We thought it was a square for the longest yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> so Procyon is in Canis Minor, little dog. Yeah. What, one of the two stars. One of the two, yeah. It's a binary star. Season. Yeah, so when uh, when you bring it up in a planetarium, it's his tail, right? Yeah. And so, but it's the brightest well, star. It's just the... It's, it's just, and it's just the two well, stars. Cause, cause, that's because Canis Minor is a wiener dog. It is a wiener dog. <laughs> or a hot dog. Oh, hey. Um, And this is where, at least on my list, you start getting into... Um, stars that have planets. I'm not saying that A and A, B and O stars don't have planets, but um, um, some of these uh, and they don't they don't have great names, but Upsilon, Andromeda. Wait, wait, wait. Can you do it in your fancy star no. voice? Oh, no! No, I'm not, I'm wait, not wait, feeling wait, sexy wait, today. Wait, wait, wait. O and B stars can't have planets? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that they don't have stars. Oh, oh, oh. It's just uh, on my list. Oh. This is the first star that Types of stars that that I put in that have planets. Oh, okay, so it, so we have probably have we discovered planets around O and B stars? I'm sure there are. Okay. Um, okay. Um, yeah. So for G stars, our sun. Hey. hey. One of the closest. We made it. We made it, and of course it has planets. Couple. Couple. Eight of two. them. <laughs> Eight. 
Um, and Alpha Centauri A is a G star, so very similar to our oh, sun. And they got like themselves us. this planet as well. What about the, uh, what about uh, B and C? Um, Alpha Centauri B is a K star, mm. so next one down. Mm. And Proxima Centauri is an M star. That's the one that's actually closest to us, oh, okay. and it's the one with the planets. Okay. So and together they are galactic killer Martians. They're like, <laughs> yeah, they're like the galactic Voltron. They come together. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that, was for, that was for you, Katie and Adam. They were late to the show because they were watching Vol- Voltron. I can read. Okay. I was <laughs> but for those of you in the podcast, you, we're we'll on the way of why I made a Voltron this reference. Whole, this whole segment will get cut because you can't see what we're talking about. Oh my gosh! All right. Um. I'm going to go play Assassin's Creed in a minute. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, so those are the, the classifications of stars. But but like I said earlier, they do come in, uh, you know, uh, different types. And it all depends mm-hmm. on kind of where they are mm-hmm. in their in their evolution. Hmm. So main sequence, even in main sequence stars, you'll, you, you have blue giants and blue super giants. Mm-hmm. And then you have little dwarf stars, um, which... Which to me is a little weird because you have you have red dwarf stars, you have orange dwarf stars, yeah. you have yellow dwarf stars. Oof. Well, that's most of the fucking stars. Um, just call them, you know, like red stars. And, <laughs> and, and I get the red ones. I get the red ones and maybe the orange ones because you do want to kind of have a distinction between the red and orange supergiants um, oh, that are okay. off of the main sequence. Se- but you don't have yellow supergiants that are out there. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I guess it's just because you already have these called dwarves, so you might as well just because it's it's in that same bracket, you know, just add the dwarf because if it was just called yellow, then it could be then conceived yeah. as being some a separate kind of thing. I get it. No, that works. Okay. Yeah. I'm just defending astronomers. And, <laughs> and so, um, uh, but then blue giants, and then of course the blue super giants, mm-hmm. which are on, and they don't live long. Like you, like you oh, were saying, they're like the they're like the Hummers. Yeah, the, you're the, talking the, like 2003 Hummers that came back of stars. A few million oh, the years. H, the H twos. The H twos, or maybe like a Ford F three fifty. Like it's six fifty. I don't know. Yeah, just use yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know cars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Sorry, I was taking a drink. <laughs> Technically, it would be a truck, but um, yeah. So I mean, they live what a few million years yeah, at best, yeah. and that's it. They that's know. the the James Dean of stars. Oh, burn bright and hot. Yeah. Die fast and young. Yeah. Well, he he ran off a road, didn't he? Wasn't that? It was a car accident. Car accident. Yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah. Related, probably, I, don't I don't know. Probably drugs. There's a drugs, leather jacket, and sunglasses involved. That's what I know. Because he's cool. Mm-hmm. Unlike stars, which are hot. <laughs> <laughs> but can be cooler than others. So, you know, we, we said that... <laughs> <laughs> you know, we said that stars come uh, in different sizes. Yes. yes. Since that's what we're talking about, basically, right yes. now. Um, you know what the smallest star is? What is it? Um, it goes by the name of E B L M J. No, I'm not going to do it. I'll do the larger one. I'm not going to do it. E B L M J zero five 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 dash five seven A B A B. Cool. Yeah. So how small are we talking here? How, how small can you theoretically? How small is this star? And how small can you theoretically get a star? Um, this is pretty much at the fucking limit. Hey. Um, okay. This star, we're not even talking about. When, when when I give you its radius and its mass, we're not even talking in comparison to the sun. We're talking in comparison to Jupiter. Wow. Oh. So this is only 85 times larger than Jupiter. And for... 80 times. Large mass-wise. Yeah, you need to be 80 times ma- more massive than Jupiter to become a star. Yes, this star is 85.2 times the mass of so Jupiter. Like right in order to become a star, it's right around 80. Yeah, Dang. so it's yeah. like, it just ma- barely made that yeah, cut made off. Yeah, made the cut. Um, and this is the smallest um, star that we're aware of. And its radius is actually smaller than Jupiter's radius. That's so it's cool. It's actually a little bit smaller than Saturn's radius. <gasps> That's so Wait, insanely then cool. How? Because just... it's got more mass, and so it's able to pull that gas um, tighter. Tighter, oh, and so make it smaller. Okay. Yeah. Wow, what constellation is it in? 
Uh, oh. Pictor? Oh, oh. It's, in the, it's in the southern hemisphere? Yeah, southern okay. hemisphere. 600, um, um, 630 light years away. Okay, well, and, and this type of star, oh, because of the size of it, and then it's not going to be that bright, you definitely uh, need a telescope to see it. I'm, I'm guessing probably a good well, telescope, yeah, and, like a Hubble telescope, maybe? Oh, well, you, actually, no, no, I'm sorry. You need binoculars. You, you need binoculars oh, you can use binoculars? It. Yeah. Um, okay. I thought I was, for some reason I thought I was in a larger one. Um, seven by fifty hmm. hour binoculars. So. Oh okay. Yeah. Now, but it's gonna be real faint. Yeah, it's really tricky too when you're looking at a dark sky with binoculars to find an <laughs> to exact find anything. star because there's true billions and billions of them. So you think is is that it? Is mm-hmm. that it? I remember two ish years ago when we had the the comet it was supposed to be the comet of the you know the century roll and it came to be a dud. But I still got to go try to find it. It took me literally two hours trying to find this comet that should have been this big long tail behind oh it. Gosh. And I know the sky relatively well, so I thought it'd be easy. Two hours to find wow. that thing. Wow. Uh, speaking of comets, in the Hangover, we got to talk about our our find in Oregon. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that is the smallest star. The largest star, uh, mass-wise, I'm uh-huh. talking. Um, and I just, I love his name, Bat99-98. Oh. Yeah. That's like, Bat. yeah. It's the most massive um, star that we're aware of. It is Batman. Hmm? It I was, is. I was going to yeah, make a reference. You got it, you got it. Okay. 165,000 light years away in the large Magellanic Cloud, okay. which interestingly enough, uh, if you look at the, the list of the biggest stars, like pretty much all the top 10 are in the large, large Magellanic Cloud in the Tarantula Nebula. So that, that nebula is kicking out some wow. big ass Well, it is yeah. the largest, it, from what we learned from Fluffy Little Clouds episode, it's the largest nebula. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't remember how large it is, but it's, it's the largest it's quite nebula. Large. So it, it makes me think if oh, oh we'll finish this star and then we'll go off my thought. So. Okay. Yeah, because we haven't even gotten to the mass of this. The mass the is two hundred and twenty six times the mass of the sun. So that smallest star, just eighty five times the mass of Jupiter, Jupiter, all the way up to two hundred and twenty six times the mass of the sun, which is really pushing the limit of of How a star. How big a star can be? Yeah. Um. And uh, okay, I, have... I was no continue. You good. Um, and its radius is uh, almost 40 times the radius of, the, of our sun. 40 times the radius. So really, really quite big. So mm. I would say Mercury's inside of I was going to think, yeah, Mercury's got to be inside But by Venus now. isn't, but Mercury is. Um, it's wow. lumi- luminosity. Mm-hmm. So really and truly kind of how bright it is, 5 million times brighter than the sun. But, woo, woo. but if you just use your eyes to see it, it's only 141,000 times brighter than the sun because most of its light's in ultraviolet. Oh light you can't even fucking see, but cats can see it, right? I was going to ask what animal can see in the UV. Can't cats? Bees? Can bees see in the UV? Bees feel right. I don't know about cats. Yeah, because bees, bees, the flowers, we saw this on that David Attenborough thing, yeah, right? They have yeah, ultraviolet. Yeah, yeah. Um, and its temperature is 81,000 degrees on the surface. Oh my god. It's on the surface. It only gets even hotter as you go down. I mean, can, how, what happens if a star gets too big? It, uh, the radiation pressure from, uh, from the core just rips it apart. It's, it's not like a supernova. It's uh-huh. just that it can't. Does it even like start? Because it's producing, it's producing so much light, uh, so much energy, that that energy overpowers the gravitational pull and just blows it apart. Yeah, we've gone this whole time, Liz, while even saying the word hydrostatic equilibrium. Hi, sorry, hydrostatic elastic, elasticity? No, no you hydrostatic right equilibrium. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you got, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, because we're not talking about, we weren't talking about that I know, but it's, 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 such, it's such a fun thing to it say. It is, hydrostatic. It really is. And so, um, if you're not familiar with it, there's this beautiful, delicate balance inside of a star. It's a push and a pull. Yeah, exactly. And um, if you're in the center of a star, let's just say that you can handle all the heat and all that. Yeah, sure, I can handle it. Pressure. Pressures and stuff. (laughs) You are being pushed on by two forces, Mm -hmm. and that's it. Both of them acting radially. Um, And so wanting to either push you out of the star or pull you towards the center of the star. Mm -hmm. So gravity, gravity is wanting to pull you in. 
the relentless pull towards the center of the star. But in the core, you're producing all this energy, which creates this outward energy, this radiation energy, which pushes you outward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and the thing is, is that gravity is relentless. It's going to win in the end, <laughs> in, in one fashion or another. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it does, but that radiation force... And it's the same thing. It, that's the force um, that um, like people want to use, like solar sails to go flying through the universe. Oh it's yeah, the, yeah. The... It's the radiation force yeah. and the solar wind uh, from stars. Hold on, everyone. Which... My mom has arrived. She has arrived to the episode. Nice. <laughs> All right, we can continue okay. now. So we Welcome. so we can continue. Yes. Okay. I was about to go up on solar sails, so that's good that we oh. stopped before I could. That's, uh, a, that's a whole other episode. Well, and then also Jack says that uh, when he wins the lottery on his list is a counterweighted binocular mount. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, nice. that's nice. That takes a lot of the pain out of using a str uh, binoculars. When I win the lottery, which will never happen, because I don't play it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have to go out, out of state to buy it. we got to go out of state because it's a stupid state. We should have stocked up when we were in Oregon. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're, we're going to make a plantarium company and... There's no lottery here? No. No. <laughs> no Where did no I move to? I, oh, it's oh my goodness. Hell, I, I want to say that, um, we told you this. I, I mean... Yeah, you got to go seriously. out of state to... I mean, Nevada's it's only implied. an hour and a half away. It's implied. That's fair, That's fair enough. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fair. We have to go to a special store so that we could do this podcast. True. You can't even buy cakes right. here. Um, in Oregon, um, I bought some uh, fermented beverages for a few uh, libations. Um, Are you going to admit to illegal activity now? No. Oh, no. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> but Liz over here. God, thanks, Liz. Okay. Sorry. I, I see where you're going now. I thought you were um, going to a different place. And it was like half the price. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, also, price. Oregon doesn't have sales tax, so it was that's still nice. half the price. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Uh, what are we talking about? I don't know. Uh, well, I, I have the something. The largest star. Largest star. Speaking of large stars, so that's the largest one we know of uh, near the galaxy, of course, because it's tough to see individual stars outside of the galaxy. Yeah. However, uh, remember a couple years ago, the Hubble took a good long look at Andronima? And brought back that super high definition picture, oh, and then yes. you can actually see individual oh, stars yeah. in that galaxy. So I'm curious. Like I know, I'm sure there's not a way to know whether there might be because people are smarter than I am. Like if there are any stars on that scale of mass that we saw in that Andromeda. Because I, I don't think you can measure it based off that picture. I think you need and yeah, more. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking. Contextual data. An observation to be able to determine the mass and size of a star, right? Um, yeah. I mean, you need well, you need its luminosity. Yeah, I mean, you, you can tell a lot. Yeah, we yeah. got some that. some stale so, candles. I'm sure we got that. Before. I mean, you can you can look at a star like like um, uh, there's these uh, OB stars, Wolf Rayet stars. Um, <laughs> I thought you said obese stars at yeah. first. <laughs> I, I was thinking OB associations, but um, which is like a star cluster kind of thing. But there's these Wolf Rayet stars um, that have really, they've depleted the hydrogen out in their mm -hmm, mm -hmm. outer atmosphere. And so they are um, heavy elements in the outer atmosphere of these stars. Mm -hmm. And so you can look at those and you can kind of tell, I mean, from its light, you can deduce its temperature. Mm -hmm. Temperature is related to mass. Can we see those in the Andromeda galaxy? Like, how ma many stars in, like, say, Andromeda can we, are we able to... Actually deduce that from? Deduce I mean, that's information a good question or learn about or see what the star types are? That's a good question. I mean, I, I don't know. If we, I mean, can you, like... Do we need direct observation see, or can you can use you, that You picture? can see, like, like, I mean, clearly Hubble can see that the individual stars, but can you... Like pinpoint that star to mm. do a spectroscopic a spectroscopic study of it. Mm. Um, I wonder if there's a, a telescope that could be bigger than a Hubble Space Telescope that we could launch further out from, uh, like don't million miles out or so that Come could on, possibly. It's the James Webb Space Telescope. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's going to launch very soon. One's in the works. When was it supposed to launch? Billion years ago. It's billion years. 42 years. Um, <laughs> uh, it was supposed to originally launch, I think only in like 2018. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. Originally uh, 2010. Oh, um, oh, but that was back in the original drawings and so forth. And things got added and changed. And it was like 2015 and 2018. Okay, okay. Now, it's, now it's maybe this maybe this year, maybe next year. Maybe five years from now. But it's, it's got to be really really soon, though, because the only rocket that's taken up there, the Ariane 5, I think it is, it's being retired, so they can't make it anymore. So it's, it's kind of I'm up sorry. against the wall. So what Nazi. is the name of this rocket? It's the Ariane 5? It's called 5? the Ariane 5, yes. Why? It's a French rocket. Right? They're make, yeah, yeah, oh, come ESA on, French. French. You know uh, what But that they are making like. a newer rocket, and they're dropping the Ariane name completely. Well, that's good, because um, history doesn't... Kind yeah, of like it's not. It's not spelled A R Y A N. No, it's oh. A A R I A N. Yeah, well. But you know, to us English home. speakers, we're like, wait yes. a minute. Jack I don't like a, this. Jack says a uh, Roosevelt administration original launch date. <laughs> so the Roosevelt administration has a great history with uh, science in this what country, starting that? with the endless frontier with the uh, Vanny Reverse. Uh, so, that's a different episode. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> All right, cool. Um, I don't even know where we're going with any of this, but. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Excellent. So we got the different types of stars. No, you were going to go with something. You oh, yeah, shit. you had a thought. You had a whole when thought. When we were talking about big stars, and you're we're like, I'll let you finish this. No, that was, it was the Andromeda question. Oh, it was the Andromeda oh, question. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Well, thank God. <laughs> so, oh, I had a thought? I don't like those. <laughs> you had a thought. Okay. Um, let's see. Usually, well, he, oh, go ahead. I was just saying, it's for our son. Uh, why don't we Why don't we just kind of talk about there our song? Let's, okay, let's bring it home. We'll bring it back home, home, and then we'll and then we'll hang over. Yeah, because then so, we can put this away. So, <laughs> so you'll typically hear that the sun is about an average star, but right? is that actually right? Yeah, it's, medium of the road, middle of the road star. But you know, well, kind yeah. of, kind of. But you know, yeah. I was thinking about that um, the other day, and um, it's all right. So the sun is in, in here he said it's more massive than three-fourths of all stars but it's actually more massive than roughly 90 percent of the stars yeah uh that are out there so is it really an average star? yeah but we call it average because it's like in the middle of the pack in that main sequence uh, uh -huh. that it can be smaller it can be bigger but it's about right there but it just so happens that most of them um are far below or lower in that main sequence stage yeah so it's just kind of funny the way it's phrased like yes it's about average in the sense that it could be much bigger, it could be much smaller, but mm -hmm. it evens out in the middle there. Yeah. But most stars are significantly less massive than our wonderful sun. Yeah, well, I mean, I take it as it's being in, in that, you know, in between small and big, so it's middle mm -hmm. of the road. I mean, I'm fine with that. I'm okay <laughs> being mediocre. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what's really cool, thinking about, um, this just popped in my head, though. Mm -hmm. um, so our sun... It, at the end of his life, in about, let's say, five billion years from now, mm -hmm. yes. um, if there's an astronomer somewhere who somewhere. is conduct who is constructing... Well, you know, the James Webb was just launched by then, so there'll be at least one <sighs> Why are you going to jinx it, man? Jinx I can't it? jinx it any more than already has been jinxed. shall never launch. So, uh, an astronomer, five billion years from now, mm -hmm. is um, constructing their version of the HR diagram. Just think... All the all the O stars gone, all the blue stars, all the B stars gone. They they would have lived their lives, and I mean those are going to be exceedingly rare. Wait, wait, wait. Rare. When are we? We're talking five billion years. Oh, now. five billion years. But wouldn't you have more newer O stars and B stars? No, I mean the the rate of uh, stellar um, formation cons formation. <laughs> Construction was what it was in my head. <laughs> and you know, little workers building stars. Yeah, this is a hitchhiker, hitchhiker's guide. Um, go ahead. Uh, so I'm going to go off with a small tangent, so you continue. Okay, and so, I mean, the uh, stellar formation, rate of stellar formation is, mm -hmm. is is going down. I mean, gas is being used up. Well, yeah, okay, gas and, is not and so, uh, limitless unless you're our dog, Leia. <laughs> 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 so, um, and, you know, we're going to get... Uh, what we're about monsters? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we're going to get to a point where the sun is going to be at the top of the HR diagram. You know, sun type stars are going to be at the top wow. of the HR diagram. The HR diagram is just slowly disappearing from the top left 
down to the bottom right. But more That's stars will sad. come and feed the bottom. They'll come and feed the bottom, yeah, and, and you'll get a few that uh-huh. populate in the upper regions. Now, now there are generations of stars, right? You have the, the first generation, the and next generation, next generation, and then you have the discovery Voyager, generation. Um, Deep Space Nine. <laughs> it was a good thing that Star uh, Trek's not what, a... What, <laughs> what generation is the sun? I was asking you always oh, know. Oh, uh, shit, we no, did talk about type this. Type 1, right? Yeah, because Type 3 was the first the generation first. of stars. Okay. So what are the generations after us? What, what would they be called? I assumed you knew. Millennials. Uh, uh, zen, uh, zen, zen, it, it looks whatever. like it's just going to keep sliding down. <laughs> so... Um, 60, uh, 42, generation 42. Yeah. Well, yeah, so yeah, there will come a time when new stars are no longer being formed, and you know, entropy can't be reversed, and uh, what the hell be yeah. that? There'll just be one lone, the eventually, universe. there'll be one lonely or hydrogen atom hanging out before that. You know, it decays. Um, one lonely hydrogen IB. I'm sorry, Beastie Boys popped in my head. Oh. <laughs> One lonely beastie I'd be. Okay, what was your tangent that you were going to go on? So my tangent is that it reminded me of a short story. (laughs) Um, Story time. Story time by uh, Isaac Asimov called The Last Question. Um, This kind of jumps through time, but inevitably has some people asking the computer, you know, how can entropy be reversed? And the computer goes, there's insufficient data for an answer. Oh, okay, whatever. And they drop the question. They come up again a couple hundred years. Same question. You know, how can mm-hmm. that be reversed? There is insufficient data. And it goes through this until like the end of time. And these last scientists, they're like on the last cusp of trying to survive because all the stars have gone out. You know, the, the hydrogens are worn out. So they're trying to figure out how can we reverse, reverse this entropy so we can all survive. Hmm. And so it's just a really cool short story explaining an entropy. Well, if I give you that, I'll spoil you this 50-year-old short story. There is an answer. It starts over again with the Big Bang because the computer figures figures it out how to reverse entropy, but when, and it begins a whole new Big Bang. But when they die, then because there's a new Big yes, Bang. Yes, they do die, but at that point, it's like a couple billion years in the future, so they're just like energetic beings. There's beings of wisps of energy, basically. So like in so the next die. gen episode where there's the energy beings that. Yeah. Um, and also like in lower decks when there's an energy being and they just capture it and make them give them new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here, there's a there's an equation that describes it. Oh. Delta S is greater than zero. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Thermodynamics. Uh, What's the shape of delta? No. Oh, the triangle. Change. Yeah. Change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That change. Um, yeah. So ba- basically, it says that. Um, uh, yeah, that uh, the universe is going to go from an orderly to a disorderly state. And so, if I had known about that equation when I was a kid, and my mom would have said, clean your room, I'd be like, I can't. I can't. Physics. Physics, mom. Delta a, S greater than zero. That's a, that would be a cool tattoo. And just walk away. Ooh, that's a good idea. That's a cool tattoo. I do, ne- I do need a Utah tattoo. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's, it's such a small formula, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, um, but it has huge, huge implications, like um, the... Um, universe goes from an orderly state to a disorderly state and so right after the big bang all the forces of the universe were unified that wait, was the orderly wait, state wait 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 a minute so all these forces in the earth they all came together in one giant voltron galactic entity is that what you're saying <laughs> that's what i'm saying that's you know what, what i'm saying sometimes it's the smallest equations that carry the greatest weight drink Well, um, so we've gone down that rabbit hole of various references here and there. Um, so we were talking about the different types of stars overall. And I think we kind of, we went through the HR diagram. Mm-hmm. We talked about the, um, the, the, what was the phrase? I've already forgotten. Hydrostatic equilibrium? No, 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 no. Not the OB of Hind Girl. Only, Only bad, bad astronomers, astronomers. Kill, find, kill, find galactic killer Martians. That's the one. <laughs> Talk or to... or old bats and fat ghosts uh, uh, sh- kill, monsters. It? kill monsters. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> uh, we talked about the extremes on both sides, whether it's the smallest to the biggest. Uh, we talked a little bit about what happens at the end of them, at, at the end of like the, the Fred Giants and things. Did we talk about that much? No, we didn't. No, we, we didn't That's a all. different podcast. Yeah. That's a, that's a much different podcast. The end of it all. Uh-huh. The end of all things. I'm glad to be with you here. 
Golem. At the Here at the end of all things. things. Uh, and that's how you know we're late in the podcast when these references to start <sighs> zipping out. And because uh, Jax thinks we need another drink, uh, way back then, uh, I'm assuming he means like Big Bang time, uh, Yoda and Palpatine were besties. Right. So with that, um, clearly we'll be hungover very soon. So I think uh, we should go ahead and wrap up this episode. Um, Do you have any closing thoughts? Uh, Let's go with Liz first and then go to my... Uh, my clothing. <laughs> Your clothing looks fantastic. <laughs> my clo- closing thoughts. <sighs> Stars are awesome. Stars are awesome. Stars are awesome. Mike? Go out and look at them. And Delta S is greater than zero. So no need to clean your room. <laughs> it's pointless. Yeah, yep. we don't make our bed because why? We're just going to get in it. Yeah, just because there's messy. no point. Why expend Delta the energy? Delta S is greater than zero. It looks more comfy when it's messy anyway. Mm-hmm. Sometimes. It can be too messy and it looks uncomfortable. It can never be too messy. It can be. No, like, the fluffy covers. So this, and this is a uh, hangover anyway. topic of how yeah. messy is too messy for beds. Okay. Uh, my bed's made at the moment, I'll have you know. Congratulations. <laughs> so go ahead and join us up next. That'll be on YouTube for you podcast listeners. Um, if not, you know, thanks for joining. Mm-hmm. Have yourselves a great day and uh, be safe, please. Delta S is greater than zero. Cheers, everybody. All right, we will break and we will see everybody out there when we reconvene in a few minutes on to the Hit hangover. that three! Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, on that note, uh, we'll be right back, everybody. usual.
Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, my friends. To the hangover. Brandon's in a better spot now. I'm in a much better spot his, in my life right winning. now. Um, got, his uh, team's winning. Basketball. Time's winning. Everyone's healthy and safe. Um, it's it's a good day. <laughs> it's a good day now. <laughs> Don't jinx it, man. Don't jinx it. I, I, I need for you to get through this episode. <laughs> oh, we got like potentially a month of this. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I hope a month. <laughs> I guess, oh, no. I guess we'll a basketball? Sort of... Yes. No, isn't yes. it just? It, isn't this like the last thing, and then it's the playoffs? Mm. It, yeah, I, I, I couldn't think of a proper analogy for space. It's like you're almost you're close to the event horizon, is what this is. I guess. I don't know something finite, Gosh. but also definite. I don't know. <laughs> There's a line. Oh, we might pass it soon. I don't know. Okay. Anyway. What do we got? What do we got for the hangover? Uh, uh, <laughs> well, I did want to try and figure out a new mnemonic, but I don't know if my brain can work enough for for doing uh, that. I also have to look at the letters. Yes, I was. <laughs> I was trying to find it in the uh-huh. chat chat scroll. That's over there. <laughs> Only wait, wait. <laughs> First of all, only Brandon. Oh, that, that oh, has potential. oh, oh, it's on that little screen. Yeah, okay. it's also on the only, big one called live chat. Only Brandon and, asks oh. feudal. Go with this. Go with it. Go with it. Feudal what? Feudal what? <laughs> Galactic Killing Martians. I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't do this without everyone watching me. Ah. <laughs> what do the words start with G? <laughs> Glaring. What do the words start with K? Gilfoil. Gilfoil? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, kite. Kinetic. Kick. <laughs> Off. <laughs> No, no, I'm gonna stop. I'm, I'm, I'm too deep in my head. Okay. Uh, so I was at only Brandon as fucking Gia Notions. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, I thought I should back off. I've gone too far. Um. Yeah. So what are they doing with the Hangover here? What other What other words start with O? Only. Octagon. Opera. Oprah. Boots. Oprah Brandon. Only Brandon as fancy. Fancy Golden, Golden King, King, man. <laughs> I shall sit on my throne of gold and ye shall despair. Only Brandon is fancy. Do we have to take a drink for that? I mean, no, I didn't, I didn't say despair and, and love me. And if I did, that would be a drink. Uh, oh, don't, don't, don't inflate his ego like that. I you? don't have an ego. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, oh, you had a rabbit hole to take us into the Hangover. Remember, you were like, "This is didn't." I had, had a something? couple of those. James Webb. Okay. Uh, their solar sails. Uh huh. And um, there's probably a couple of rabbit oh, holes. Oh, 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 the, the Death of Stars. We talk about those. Yeah, that's a different episode. Uh, we we're also going to discuss the state of bed messiness. Oh, yeah. So I like to have my uh, bed nice and made, but I don't like tucking the sheets in the side. I don't like no. Being, no. I don't like no. feeling like I'm being strangled no, as I, I fall asleep. I don't like sheets tucked uh-uh. in either. Uh-uh. No. I I don't like feeling trapped. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I guess what it comes down to is I just enjoy the look of a made bed when I come home in the evening, or th- as I'm sitting in the, throughout the day playing Civilization VI. Oh. I want. I want. It's a reminder that I was productive for at least twenty seconds in the day. Ah, uh, it just looks like oh, now I gotta like undo it all. I know, right? It seems know, more it's work. Like, oh, I can't just get into it. I gotta like pull back shit. All right, so what? 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 what it's two there. <laughs> yeah, audience, what do you think? Oh, we got another octopus bacon acts funny gumming kids mochi. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> octopus bacon. <laughs> Ooh, octopus bacon. Octopus bacon. Acts funny gumming kids mochi. All right. Well, there you go. Wow. Um, so I can't get past octopus bacon. Octopus bacon. Well, you've heard of an octopus garden. No, this is a Beatles song. It's an octopus garden. Written by Ringo. The only Ringo written song was. Is it really? Oct- yeah, it's about an octopus garden in the sea. 
How so fucking stupid song. high was he when he... I think that's just his normal self, and the Beatles felt bad. It's, so I, I love that Family Guy skit when, you know, the Beatles are in the kitchen, and Ringo goes, hey guys, I wrote a song. And John's like, oh, cool, Ringo, we're going to put it right here on the fridge so everyone can see it. <laughs> and it's Octopus Garden. Okay, all right. Should have made it octopus bacon, uh, which is very rubbery, apparently, according to Jack. Octopus, uh, yeah. Uh, I love octopus. Um, uh, oh god, online banter and flirty grandpas kill me. <laughs> oh, there it is. Online we have a winner. And flirty grandpas kill me. Magnificence. Mag- flirty grandpas. <laughs> oh, that's just wrong. Ah. <sighs> yep. All right. That's it. Pack it up. Katie and Adam win at a uh, 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 mnemonic creation. Hit that fucking three. Ah! Oh, we got the layup. That's good. <laughs> this is one of the more discombobulated, uncoordinated hangovers we've had in a very long time. Uh, yeah, because you're watching the entire basketball. show. It's the entire show. I thought we had an outline ready to go. No, it was that was reference stuff. Yeah, but I then I had to go make di- lunch, and I couldn't. I couldn't make the outline. Uh, We're not supposed to have outlines. It's supposed to be free flowing. Anyway, yeah. oh, so many gold chains and medic alert bracelets. Is that oh, in addition that's, to that's, the that's flirty that's grandpas? That's, uh, oh. It's just a oh. statement. <laughs> now, now I'm reading all sentences <laughs> as if they're a mnemonic. <laughs> that's funny. I assumed it was based on how you read it. <laughs> I know, right? Because she's going like no. this as well. <laughs> yeah. Hand no, gestures. Jack's just commenting so many gold chains and medical alert bracelets. <laughs> Those damn flirty grandpas. <laughs> Hopefully they have a medical alert bracelet. <laughs> Anyway, I'm anyway. not going to have one. Um, what's your favorite type of star? <laughs> oh, jeez. Binary stars. What, oh, wait, 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 wait. What's your favorite star? So type of star? Favorite star? I have a favorite star. Favorite oh, like star? Like a star? Like a name star? Yeah. Like a star you know? Oh, I have a favorite star. My favorite star. Sure my favorite star is... Hold on. I got stuff in my eye. <laughs> my favorite star is... There it is. Beetlejuice. Hmm. Because it's a red giant. It's dying. It has a fun name that can be argued over the pronunciation of... Betelgeist! It's easy to find in the constellation of Orion, which is also the constellation my favorite nebula is in, but a little bit further south. Um, and it could go supernova in our lifetime, but it probably We were won't. so close! What does Beetlejuice translate to? And it... Tr- oh, God, I forgot. Armpit of the Giant! Yeah! And it's and it's Orion's armpit! Armpit of the Giant. So it's showing, you know, armpit, armpit. pride. Don't be worried about your armpits. They could explode. Yeah, we were really close for it going boom. Oh, I was so excited. Ah. Or it seemed so, like what it. was it? Last year, of course, in 2020, uh, it had dipped significantly in brightness. Yeah. And everyone's like, what is going on here, guys? Guys, this is no. the first time we've ever seen this. It's gonna happen, and then yeah. it was just like a cloud ab- yeah. around it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my mom's favorite star apparently is George Clooney. I thought that was Harrison Ford. For my mom's favorite star. Didn't we have a whole conversation about this? No, Harrison this? Ford reminds me of my dad. So that what did that make Harrison it. Ford oh. the favorite star? No. <laughs> no. No, George Clooney. George Apparently. Clooney, really? Okay. Not well, like George David Clooney's Boreanaz? favorite star is Brad Pitt. Or at least according to the joke commercial they made. Oh. They made the joke commercial? Oh, yeah, commercial? Yeah, George Clooney made this commercial where he was like a, a rabid uh, Brad Pitt fan, has like posters That's and all funny. this okay. stuff. That's funny. Okay, so Mike, you have two types of, do you have a sky star and a star star? No. Go. Oh, no. Yes, yes, this is what we're doing now. Also, you need to say your favorite star star as well. I don't. I like I don't how it's sky favorite. star than star star. I don't, I don't have, have a favorite, favorite star star. Star is. star or Hollywood star. Somebody who's if you see them in the movie, you're gonna see that regardless of what it is. Oh. But also your regular star, like your natural gas star, natural gas. Um, I'm gonna think about this. Uh, Jack's favorite star is El Debaron. It's it is fun. Uh, it's f- and uh, is a fun one and uh, a fun one to say with a very posh British accent. So El Debaron. El Debaron. Cheerio, <laughs> mate. El Debaron. Uh, the so eye my, of Taurus the bull. El Debaron. My favorite star is Alberio in Cygnus the Swan. Uh, because when you look oh, at through yeah, the telescope, yeah. it's a beautiful binary. It's gold and blue, yeah, and it's just beautiful. gorgeous oh, to look at. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, that's nice. 
I can and, get behind that yeah, one. Yeah, we're not sure if it, they're orbiting binary stars or related to binary stars or what. Because they, if they do, they rotate very slowly around each other, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. rather. Uh, but for right now, they're just gorgeous to look at. They they are quite beautiful. I've seen them through a telescope. They're, oh, yeah. They're incredibly beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look it up. Google them. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there are some amazing pictures that are out there for it. Um, Sports happens. Don't worry about it. Yeah. What happened? I don't know what my favorite star star is. That's hard. Um, so something, okay, star star. Because it's like if, if, you know, if it's like something with like Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, oh, like yeah, I'm going to want to yeah, see yeah. that shit because they're awesome. Yeah. But well, then it, there's like Ian McKellen. That's true. Um, oh, shit, that's a good one. I All was right. thinking like a Down the Day Lewis. Because whatever he's in is amazing. Yeah, I didn't know they lose He's all right. It's all right. If yeah, I had up. a long straw, I would drink your your uh, milkshake. Maybe like uh, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Thank you. He's been in a lot of the like C and D movies. He's like had the ten year stretch of shit movies. I don't so all the care. Well, we gotta watch him. We gotta watch some bad Bruce Willis movies. You be Kaye, motherfucker. Okay, well we're gonna watch some bad. <laughs> well, it is your day to make oh, decisions. Sigourney Weaver. That's no, good. Oh yeah, she does. Mm-hmm. She does great stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, my mom's a Patrick Stewart. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. That goes without saying. That's a good one. So that's like saying, what if? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say, what type of star would Patrick Stewart be as like a a star, a star? <laughs> Oh, shit. So we're going down the rabbit hole. Right. So now star, we're really... But, you know, his career has lasted a very long time, so he could be more of, like, an M-class star, you know, where he's a steady, burning, you know... And he's just going to fade away. Star. How's that feel? But at least... You did, you did that. <laughs> you did that. that. <laughs> but, like, with, like, old age and the natural causes in uh, many years from now... Make him, make him a, a, a G-type star so that he can, um, uh, you know, have that long, steady career, but then create that beautiful plant oh, nebula. Oh, okay, done. Made. Patrick Stewart, you are now a G-class star. You heard it first here. Cosmo the Cosmos. Hangover. <sighs> have your people call our people. We'll, Ooh, we'll Maggie talk about Smith. The Maggie Smith is a good one, because Maggie Smith, every time I think of Maggie Smith, I think of the movie Hook, and then I also think of Robin Williams, and I'm like, oh, it's just... Warm childhood feelings. Robin Williams, back in the day, yeah. Um, was well, seen there. Now, good, good morning it's Vietnam too soon. was amazing. Too soon. The, yeah. Um, I guess he was more of a like an O class star. That's it. Oh. Or bright and hot, but. No. But when out. Don't do that. You know, but but when out. Don't do that. Don't do okay. that. Um. So. Yeah, oh, Robin Williams. Why are we talking about celebrities? God. Stars. Somebody <laughs> said George Clooney. Stars, although I did, oh, oh, I did in our description for this episode on YouTube, uh, uh, I did make like a celebrity reference uh, okay. sort of thing, so. Anyway. <laughs> so we, we don't know how to transition this. I was <laughs> trying to figure out something about black holes and uh, celebrities. I don't know anymore. Oh my god. Alright, so, uh, what are we talking about next time? Oh, so next, oh. that's right, because next month there's a special event happening in space. Kind what of, is it? It's impacting the Earth. It is a eclipse. Oh, an ecl- what kind, which one? A lunar eclipse. Yeah! Uh, here in the States, it'll only be a partial eclipse. Uh, but if you Don't write, give the episode away. I want to talk about it, though. We'll talk about it in the episode. Well, so the episode be, will be, be prepared for an eclipse, people. So our next episode will be what eats the moon. Oh, that's right. That was a cool phrase. What yeah. eats the moon? Yeah. Oh, didn't you want to talk about something with comets? Me? In this oh no! Yeah. That, oh, that was the, you. Yeah, do that. Yeah. So, um, you know, Liz and I went up to uh, Oregon. Oh, that's right. Oh, no, yeah. That's what I was. <laughs> one to by get. one, we oh, all yeah. figure it out. <laughs> Okay. So, um, I gotta go get it. yeah, I know. So, uh, Liz and I go up to um, uh, Oregon and hang out with the family for a little bit and for a few days, enjoying the Oregon coast. It was frigid, but oh, uh, be incredibly beautiful. And, and Leia had the time of her life on the beach. Um, but anyway, we go down to this antique kind of store in Lincoln City, Oregon, and uh, we're just. 
looking at all the stuff and there's these postcards and literally you know pop it open to the middle of the postcards mm -hmm. just pull one up and look at the back of it and oh wow it's, it's people have been had they wrote on it and it's from 1910 <laughs> There we go, 1910, and um, it is from somebody who is talking about uh, the um, Halley's Comet uh, passing by Earth and how they thought it was going to be the end of the world. Um, okay. and it, you want me to read it? You, it's completely messed up. The, the, we're out of oh, focus no. now. Oh, no. Okay, refocus. There we go. All right. <sighs> Uh, so it reads. Wait, wait, can you can you do it in like a not a Victorian voice, but almost a British voice? Because there it's a people writing postcards. Even though they're American. Dear cousin. There we go. Everyone was watching for this comet last week Wednesday. There were many people waiting for the world to end. Uh, they were just about crazy. From Ella P to a Mrs. Matha, uh, Pepper, 401 something street, Portland, Oregon. <laughs> so, a couple things. What a glorious accent. Like, I feel like she owns 16 orphans and tries to sell them one by one. Uh, but number two, that scare of the comet was a real oh, no. thing. Clearly. It was a real thing. Yeah. Uh, we looked it up. Uh -huh. We were trying to figure out what comet oh, it was. It caused the stamp to come off. I need to glue it. And apparently there were two. Two comets. Nineteen ten. Um, because one of the things that um, a great comet, but was in um, a different time. When when was this um, postcard? Uh, this postcard. Was it May? Uh, yeah, it was. Well, he's postmarked uh, May. Uh, nineteen May something seventh maybe or nineteen ten twenty something nineteen ten. Yeah, and that's when uh, how although. It says uh, Neb Im implying Nebraska, uh, but this postcard is of the public library. Maybe it was in going Chicago. to. Well, Nebraska. it's being sent to Portland. Oh, okay. Well, that's I know. Anyway, um, it was. Uh, we, we looked it up, and it was in May, was when Haley's Comet was coming okay. through, and when people had the hysteria. Um, but I want to say later in the year. There was also reference to a great comet, which could have been Halley's Comet coming back around. You know, goes around the sun and then pops back yeah, out. And been. but um, but I'm not entirely yeah. sure. But so of course comets have the big long tails behind them. So when regular broom stars, what was that? Broom stars. Broom stars. Yeah, they call them broom stars. Not heard of that. Broom stars. Yeah. I've never broom heard stars. of that. No. Fuzzy stars and broom stars. Fucking sweeping up the oh. solar system. Well, that's kind of fun. You know, the other one's making a mess. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, uh, people would think that when the Earth passed these tails, like with meteor shards, for mm -hmm. example, that yeah. they would, like, descend poisonous gas upon civilization. Yeah, that's and what it was. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what yeah. it was, yeah. yeah. Which is weird because it happens every, what, 76 years is Haley's Comet? Right, for Haley's Comet. Yeah. yeah but so but it also happens once a month when you pass through, um, you know, the, the trails of comets when meteor showers. Yeah, yeah we Lyrids, pass. the... We pass through Leia's gas tail all the time. They... Yeah, that's the truth now. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just love the... I, or I, at one point, I thought it would have been amusing to have people think, oh, we're going to pass through this comet. It's going to kill us all until they realize nothing's changed. And I'm sure people still believe that. Yeah, like, you yeah. Know, remember 2012 when the world was supposed to end? Mm -hmm. Or when Apophis was supposed to kill us all a couple months ago? Yeah. Uh, you know, so nothing's changed. No. Yeah. No, we will, we're a superstitious uh, species. Yeah, Not and I word. mean... Uh, yeah, the universe. The universe IKEA is. Board. The universe is actively <laughs> trying to kill you. Yeah. Absolutely, every single second. Mm -hmm. um, and the Earth is giving us a big atmospheric hug to keep us all alive. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Earth. Uh, but Jack says, as soon as the press mentioned the eclipse and supermoon, I started to get, "Is Mars going to be as big as the Moon too?" Oh, I messages. love that. And he started crying. Oh. In the yeah. Um, we feel you, Jack. We know your pain. The closest point in 60, 100 years. No, it doesn't fucking make Yeah. Uh, 
So, so mom, when you go on Facebook and <laughs> before you share anything with me and ask me if it's true, if it talks about Mars being the size of the moon or anything that's going to possibly kill us, the answer is no. And in, and if you look up into the sky and Mars is as oh. big as the we got a fucking problem. We have a problem. But and at, it's at, too late to do anything so about at, at it. At that point, you know what you should do? Just just grab yourself a drink and uh, put on some uh, REM. Some REM <laughs> and enjoy the couple minutes you have yeah. left. And you know, play it at seven o'clock in the morning like that jackass in the uh, in the park yesterday. Uh. Uh, 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 Adam says, Macho Man suplex Jesus to save us all in Thank God. Thank God. Macho Man uh, Randy Savage. I know some people, well, some people, somebody once told me that Jesus is going to walk out of a supernova. Um, no, so, sorry. Jesus walks out of the Orion Nebula, but in reality, it's just going to be Macho Man uh, strutting <laughs> out of the nebula. <laughs> and you'll hear his echoes throughout eternity. Oh, yeah! With Slim Jim. Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> that's, that's beautiful. Well, um, what else we got here? Anything else we got? <laughs> this has been the most bizarre episode. It's, yeah. You know what? Space is strange. It is strange. Whole universe. Whole universe. All right. Anyway, well, I mean, I'm not hosting. You're hosting. Yeah, you're in charge of this episode. That's why I asked. I'm having a good time. The games, you know, I, I have 10 minutes left where I really have to pay attention. We're having a good time. Yeah, but no, right. we can certainly end Let's, it now. You know what? Let's have a... We, we did talk about the next episode already. So that feels like the natural transition point. Of, of going? Yeah. yeah I was going to say, for, for those of you out there... Uh, you know, uh, you know, send us like some ideas. Uh, we're gonna have a brainstorming session on topics for the show. As soon as this show ends, that's what we're gonna do. Is we're that gonna have a random production meeting. As soon as it ends, yeah, we're gonna have production. I feel like meeting. it's gonna be. It's going okay. to be, um, I'll be having a talking to, is what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, like, what are, like, random space questions that pop in your, it, you know, if you get a random space question that pops in your head, shoot on a, shoot it on over to What us. is us the s- smallest star that Macho Man could suplex? Uh, wh- whatever that one star is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the legitimately smallest star. <laughs> Uh, Jack says second drink is leftover strawberry syrup drizzled on a chocolate <gasps> egg, egg cream. Egg, egg. Wow. egg. You know what we have? We yes, we have them. Oh, we have double eggs. eggs. We have twenty three of them because I had to have we, one. We have earlier. We have twenty. We have twenty two. <laughs> we have twenty two of them, uh, but we need to put paprika on there. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, e- eclipse and eggs. Eclipse eggs. Meeting. Yeah, meeting. meetings. Uh huh. Stars. Uh, basketball. Basketball. People shooting. Flirty grandpas. Hell uh, yeah. Old bats and not, fat ghosts. Sorry, not hell yeah to the flirty grandpas, but we do the free throws. So <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. I had to clarify that. that. And on a final note, octopus bacon. Oh. Octopus bacon. Which, I'm, I bet we could get that somewhere. What would that? What would that uh, even entail? I, I, mean, I what don't part know. Of, what part of the pig is bacon? The bacon part. Well. The it's stomach, like, the the pork belly, it's I'm, part of the pork belly, right? I don't know. It's bacon. I think Jack knows. It's, Jack, it's, it's part of the pork belly, right? It's, it's bacon. bacon. So, it's like so what, what, the uh, octopus would be. <laughs> it's like what part of the chicken is a buffalo wing? It's a uh, <laughs> wing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See. Okay. So it's the bacon part of the octopus. But octopus <laughs> octopi don't have a, a, a ton of. <laughs> who did this to us? Who who did octopus bacon? It was Jack. Jack. This is Jack's fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, join anyway. us next episode. We talk about the clips and um, follow us on all the things. All the things. Listen to the made episode on all your favorite podcast platforms, and you can find the hangovers on a YouTube. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for coming. See you later. Adios, everyone. <laughs> it was good having you, and uh, we'll see you again one day. And go Lakers. In a couple Whoa! Weeks. <laughs> Whoa, man! It's even the Phoenix Suns! They're the Suns! Bye, You'd guys. think we'd be going for the Suns. Ha! But today of ha. all days. Bacon comes from the belly. Octopus bacon is thin-sliced tentacle. Oh, mm. chewy. Thanks, Jack.